at Dreamforce every year, we like to celebrate a customer who we see best exemplifies our vision and what we're talking about. And last year, something amazing happened. And what happened was this. At the end of Dreamforce, I got a phone call. And it was from the office of Jeff Emmelt, who's the chief executive officer of General Electric. GE wanted me to come to their Crotonville, New York training facility to present to Jeff and to also to present to his 40 top managers of his companies on what the future of General Electric would look like. Now, I have to tell you, that's actually quite an intimidating task. <laughs> I don't know a lot about General Electric. I had never met Jeff before. It's a highly diversified company. There's GE Capital. There's GE Healthcare. They make locomotives. They make energy products. It's not exactly my core competence. But I went. But I said, I'm going to need a little bit of prep time. And where I was fortunate is that I got 30 minutes. I got 30 minutes with Jeff Emmelt in Columbus, Ohio, the month before, to talk to him about the future of GE. And I said, Jeff, what do you think the future of GE is? And he said, well, I want to hear your vision, Mark. And I said, well, give me a couple clues. <laughs> he said, well, there's two things that are really on my mind. One, I believe the future of GE is around the man-machine interface. It's around the man-machine interface. Because GE makes machines, they make CAT scanners, they make locomotives, they make turbines, they make aircraft engines, they make a huge number of machines. And those machines are becoming more and more intelligent and we want to have more information, more collaboration, more communication between those machines. I said, that is right squarely in our vision. And then he said, and then we believe that the future of our revenue and our profitability is around GE becoming a great customer service company around these machines. But we need greater clarity. And so I've asked each of the CEOs of the five largest technology companies to come to Crotonville to present their vision. I said to Jeff, no pressure. So we went to Crotonville. We presented an idea called GE Share, that a GE engineer would be able to communicate and collaborate with a GE product, like an aircraft engine. And that the key is that these next generation GE aircraft engines, called the Gen X engines, they have APIs, application programming interfaces to them. And that these GE engineers are working with those, working with those engines, but they could start collaborating with those engines if they brought that information into a feed and had status updates. And they could even focus on specific posts from those engines. And if they could bring other GE engineers as well into that network. And then they could also bring in their customer engineers they could even bring in their end users into that network, and they could create a social network around an aircraft engine. It was an unusual idea. That they could have a social network around a turbine, they could have a social network around a CT scanner. That they would be able to organize the customer service information in a structured way, that they could collaborate in a structured way. They could make their products more tightly integrated with their employees, their customers, and their partners. And that through that, they would have a new emphasis, a new level of focus on customer service. And that GE, that GE presentation we did at Crotonville called GE Share, well, I'm so excited to tell you that they actually saw some ideas that made sense to them. I was worried at the time. Jeff, at the end of the meeting, got up and said, well, I asked these other CEOs to come and present the future of GE. They pitched their products. You came to present the future of GE and you showed us our future. Well, General Electric is an amazing company. I've learned so much about this company in the last 10 months. Barron's most respected company, Fortune's most admired company, $147 billion in annual revenue, 300,000 employees. Their C, Jeff Emmelt, is gonna be here tomorrow to speak in an unpaid, unpaid a keynote on how he does see the future of our industry. And their global CIO is here. Their global CMO is involved in this project. The whole management team is working on this project. It's such an exciting project. It's so reminiscent of what we showed with you last year with Toyota Friend, where we asked if your car could be your friend. This same kind of transformational project, we love this. We love this opportunity to be able to come into a company and to be able to say, how do we transform? 
the company? How do we transform all of us? Because at the end of the day, the reason why I love this story so much is this. We believe so much that our role here at Dreamforce is to transform all of you, to open a door to the future, to give you the new skills and capabilities for the future, and then to let you go back into your organizations and take them to a new level. And when you actually do it, it is the greatest, best feeling we have. It is awesome. I want to show you inside General Electric. GE is a company that's all about making things that matter. We have this core belief that business is social. What I mean here is that social technology is going to change the way we do business. It's not just a consumer application, it's a business application. You know, we had a goal two years ago that we want to get our sales team 100% digitized. And the best thing for us was to go to Salesforce. It's been key for us to understand not only how do we connect our employees, but how do we connect our employees to our customers. And ultimately, what's very exciting for us is how do we connect customers, employees to our machines. In a company like GE, most of our customers have multiple GE businesses that work with them. And so you need all the touch points of the company to understand that customer. Wherever you are, you have the brains of the company, the brains of what's going on for the customer right at your fingertips. It's changing the way we work and the way our customers work. As we become more digitized, we're getting access to more data. We're seeing data from customers. We're also seeing data from our machines. I think the idea of connecting a machine to a social network is pretty exciting. What if my jet engine could talk to me? And what would it say? Chatter's turning out to be a nice tool in that because what it does is it aggregates communities. In this case, a community of service reps. We can get our salespeople plugged in and they were actually able to take some of the data feed from a GENX engine that was installed on the Dreamliner for Japan Airlines. In real time, the service teams of Japan Airlines and GE were able to look at the data and say, what are we seeing? What are we experiencing? And it's translated into real action that helps the business run better. Social and Salesforce help connect the dots of the company. They speed us up, they make us more approachable. If you're a business, you need social because it's gonna get you closer to your customers. It's humanizing. The ability to query somebody real time and get feedback and to get people to help make what you do better. I mean, that's a marketer's dream. Well, I just love that story. Isn't that a great story? I love that story, and I'll tell you why. It just exemplifies to me why we're all here. It shows the kind of things you can learn here, participate in, transform yourself, transform your company, add value to your industry. That's what we're all about. We love that. We love that. And I'm so delighted to welcome Charlene Begley, who's here, who's the global CIO of General Electric. And Charlene, would you stand up, please? Thank you so much for being here. We're so delighted to have you. Welcome to Dreamforce. Thank you. It's great to be here. This is overwhelming, actually. I thought we had big customer meetings. Charlene, you're the global CIO of one of probably one of the most respected and most well-known companies in the world. You have a history of innovation that we so respect at Salesforce, starting with Thomas Edison, moving all the way to Jeff Emmel today. You have this incredibly diversified set of businesses. You have this huge vision around GE Share that we've worked together to build. Charlene, can you tell us, what does the future look like to you? Sure. Um, just, it changes the way we do business. I mean, for social, for me, it gives us new revenue streams, new ways to bring value to customers. For me, it's really simple. It's about accelerating learning. It's about accelerating communication. It's about connecting the right people to the right information at the right time on any device anywhere in the world. I mean, for GE with 300,000 employees with huge installed bases, it's really, really, really critical that we have efficient communication. So again, it's accelerated learning. It's finding new ways to bring value to customer. The data on our equipment 
tells us enormous amounts of information. If we can quickly grab that data, turn it in, into information for a railroad to run their locomotive better, for an airline to have better fuel efficiency, that's huge value. And so this just unlocks that for us. Well, it's just awesome. We're so thrilled to work with you and Charlene. Welcome to Dreamforce Thank 2012. Thank you. Great to be here. Charlene Begley, everybody.